Welcome to the seventh episode of the National Flag Series. In this series, I'll be covering the history, symbolism and different designs of each national flag, going alphabetically from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe. For my list, I will use all nations as recognised by the UN, as well as a handful that are not. At the end of each instalment, I will give the flag a score out of 50. Let's begin the seventh episode, Argentina. The flag of Argentina is a well-known design that has gone on to inspire a great deal of other countries' flags and colour palettes. The flag is an alternating horizontal tricolour of sky blue and white, with a brown bordered yellow Sun of May or Sol de Mayo in the centre. The blue and the white are often considered to symbolise the sky and the clouds, however this theory is frequently rejected by historians, who favour the idea that the colours are relevant to the House of Bourbon. Argentina's coat of arms similarly makes use of the sun and the blue and white, with a striking red Phrygian cap. We begin in 1812 with a name familiar to many Argentinians. As well as taking part in the wars for independence, he is also credited with creating the flag of the country. Some of his designs are slightly different to the one pictured here, often including an additional stripe. However, it's clear that the sky blue and white were established as Argentina's colours right from their independence. The flag of Macha is the name given to two Argentinian flags, discovered in North Bolivia in 1885 and considered to be the first ever flags of Argentina, made by Belgrano in 1813. One of the two remains in Bolivia, however the other is in the Tucumán province of northern Argentina. As you can see, one is an inversion of its counterpart, and the design flew as the national flag during the early days of Argentinian independence. The United Provinces consisted of parts of what is today Argentina, Paraguay, Brazil, Uruguay, Peru, Bolivia and Chile. It emerged from the ashes of colonial South America and lasted 21 years. In its first year, the nation used what now represents only Argentina. It is from this flag and indeed this nation that allowed the colours of blue and white to spread throughout the Spanish-speaking world. Soon after, the colours were replaced with the darker blue, which is also seen in many Central and South American countries' vexillology. But the colour did not last long at all, and the sky blue returned, this time lasting almost a decade. Two years before the official dissolution of the United Provinces, Argentina formally ceased membership and formed the Argentine Confederation, with Juan Manuel de Rosas at the helm. The flag again was the horizontal tricolour with central sun of May, but as you may be able to tell, the blue from this point on has become slightly more purple in shade. In 1835, the flag undergoes fairly radical changes. The central sun becomes red, and four Phrygian caps on sticks, as we saw earlier on the coat of arms, have been placed in each of the four corners. A decade and a half after this, the flag changes again, certainly more subtly this time, removing the pikes and angling each of the caps and minorly stylizing them. These two designs of the Argentine Confederation often inspire very differing opinions, however, I personally quite like the flag's uniqueness in terms of the shade of blue and the placement of design elements in each of the corners. In 1861, when Argentina became a republic, a new, although not newly created, flag was installed. This is the present flag which continues until today. It is one of the more commonly recognisable flags of South America, and indeed the world. Do note that the flag is sometimes falsely pictured with a brighter shade of blue which is demonstrated by a quick Google Images search. On screen now are the flags of some, but not all, of Argentina's provinces. It's relatively clear that the sky blue and white often reoccur in the designs. However, this is not the case in every provincial flag. Overall, whilst these flags as a collection are not perfect, they certainly triumph over other different groups of district flags. The flag of Argentina uses a well-established vexillological idea of tricolour and distinguishes itself with the Sun of May. Therefore, the flag receives a 9 out of 10 for simplicity. The Sun of May is reminiscent of the May Revolution, in which the country gained local autonomy from the Spanish. However, other than this, the sky blue and white seem to be pulled out of the mind of Manuel Belgrano, with no specific meaning that can only be attributed to Argentina. Of course, four marks for colours, and for me, straddles the perfect balance between distinct and related. I struggled with the final criteria, almost giving the flag a 9 instead of 10 for complex symbols. But although many people may not be able to recreate the Sun of May exactly stroke for stroke, it is relatively stereotypical and instantly recognisable as the Sun. So then, Argentina does very well with a score of 47 out of 50, placing it second on the leaderboard so far. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode of the National Flag series on the Vexadecimal YouTube channel. Next up is Armenia, which is episode 8.